What's going on, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner, and I got a warning for all conservatives or people that just simply have a brain in their head, or especially for white people, okay? Non-black people. They're targeting you guys. That's what they're doing. You got a lot of people out there that's trying to get their 15 minutes of fame, you know, throw out a little hate crime. They don't even want to check with your background, see if you are racist or not or even a conservative or not long as you're white long as you're white and they think that they can set you up by antagonizing you uh they will because you see what happened down in georgia with the one girl <laughs> my baby and my kid he called me all that stuff you saw that we all know about jesse smollett well somebody sent me uh something today and it's a video and i want to just sell, show people how to use some deductive reasoning now i don't know if this went viral or not. But if I look at this video right off grip without considering some things, using some reasoning skills, I might miss the mark. If I was the liberal, crooked, nasty, funky, dirty media or the Democrats or just some liberal like the guy who tweeted this video out, who now is saying things like, and the bad part is nobody even said anything or stepped in um, without knowing all the details then I might just look stupid if something comes out later and it shows that there was more to the story. So let's take a look at the video and then we'll talk about how to go through a reasonable step in process to conclude who's right or who's wrong. So apparently, let me give you the scenario. This lady is from, I guess, Puerto Rico perhaps, and she's in Pennsylvania in a store. She starts to record a conversation between her and this white lady and of course, the conversation goes dark, you know, it goes far left. And let's just start right here and then we'll talk about it. What? Cornut? No. Oh, cornuts. Like, no. Any sense right now? Yeah, there. Are you probably gonna speak Spanish? Um, can you stop talking to me? No, do, do not talk okay. to, for puta, okay? Because puta, puta is no good. You are puta. Wow, well, your problem, okay? Okay, then, my problem. No, pendejo, you. Hey, I do not speak. Here. You don't here. Yeah, I don't care. 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 Me six years here. Are you problem? I don't care. You racist. You racist. You should be the Man, I don't care. Yo, you don't belong here. Man, what the fuck? Mira esta. She's problem for me. I speak Spanish. Don't belong here. Man, I don't care. You're fuck you. Eh, fuck you. I don't care. Me country. living here in country six I years. Do you not like you. Spanish? It's your problem. It's your problem, okay? Mira esta. Of I'd love the register to be open. Okay. <laughs> Racista. Puta. You puta, hey. What the? Hello. Goodbye. Adios. Bye. I can't buy one off the wall. Puta significa bitch. Okay? Adios. So yes. what the fuck? Mira tu, tu palabras. Adios, bitch. Yeah, what the que tu me dice a mi? Adios. You racista. You racist. You not call it legal uh, money. Spanish? Legal money. Oh uh, yeah, I don't care. Not drug money. Fuck you. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sure. Well, now, of course, everybody is, you know, I guess who who watched the video was saying, you know, well, you know, obviously the white lady was racist. And if you just watch it in face value, you might come to that conclusion. Now, I want to say this. I don't know. Um how this all developed, but I'm just going to use some reasoning skills before I jump to a conclusion. My first thought would be this. Why was she recording her secretly? She had the camera way down low on the hip recording her, but notice that it didn't start recording from the beginning. She started in the middle of the conversation. Now, how do we know this? Just using some, some investigative skills, because by the time she start recording it, the white lady was already irritated.
So now my question is, what led up to that? How were you antagonizing this woman to by the time you started recording, she states, will you stop talking to me? That must mean that you now have been talking to her prior to starting to record. You've now waited until she's built up some animosity, some anger, and then you say, okay, I got her on the ropes now. It's time to go ahead and turn on the lights, camera, action, click. And you got it down there on the hip and she kept antagonizing the lady as well. So she wants to fish out more, wants to get her to go ahead and say something to the point where she can say, well, now look at that. That shows racism. Now, the other thing we have to ask ourselves is who is the lady recording? Where does she come from? Is she an illegal immigrant? That's my first thought, because she never denied when she was saying you shouldn't be here or you should be deported. She never said, well, I'm an American citizen. Nothing. She was, I don't care. I don't care. So now my question is, when the lady said you shouldn't be here or you should be deported, is that a true statement? Do we know if this lady has a background of trying to be a victim or if she's really here illegally or not? We don't know. We don't know anything about that. We don't know what led up to that series of events and conversation. But I do know this. This is what didn't happen. The lady is simply sitting in line, minding her business, about to check out. And the white lady out of nowhere just decides to say, you know what? Uh, stop talking to me and you should be deported. I uh, hope Trump deports you and all of this stuff. I know that didn't happen like that because, like I said, just deductive reasoning. Camera turns on right at the point when the lady is frustrated and says, will you stop talking to me? That means... We have to go back and get the whole conversation in context before we cry. Look what Trump is doing. He's inspiring all these people to just hate these uh, immigrants and tell them to go back to the country's racism. It's coming down from Trump. That's where it's coming from. Without all the details. It looked real suspicious. It looked like the lady with the camera poked the bear enough to the bear got mad. When the bear turned to bite her, broke out the camera, got it on film. And kept antagonizing, like, let me keep fishing, let me keep digging until I get a good statement, right? Nice one. And when she said, I hope Trump deports you, bang, got it. Now, here's the other part of this. People, be smart. Be smart. You know we're in a polarized environment right about now. You know everybody has a camera running around trying to get... Uh, their 15 minutes of fame. You know, you have people that are professional victims looking to antagonize people until they respond and then they're going to cry out racism, something like that. Kind of like these little black kids that's going around spray pay, uh, spraying the police. When the police turns around, drags one of them off to jail, then the police is, is brutality. And that person now becomes the victim when they went poking the bear. So now, before everybody jump on board, with this whole video and all oh, God see Trump and this and that. Do some research. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going to make a judgment until I find out what led to that. Okay. You show up two people fighting. You need to find out what led to that. Okay. So um, there you have it. Be aware. See, I ain't got to worry about that right now. Because see, they ain't, they ain't looking. They ain't trying to get black people to do that. You know? They don't come messing with us. All right. Uh, but they are looking. It's sad to say this, but they are trying to get people who fit the Trump profile, white man, white woman, possibly conservative, and get them all revved up. And then when they say something that even sounds suspicious, then all of a sudden you're racist and Trump is a racist and you did this because Trump gave you permission to do it. You see the game? Be smart, people. Think about it. All right, you've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. Don't forget, check me out every Wednesday night, 7.30 live. And uh, on my YouTube page, yeah, YouTube. Uh, I go live on YouTube every Wednesday night, 7.30. And don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and the notification button. And check me out on my radio blog talk show, links in the bottom. Check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. Links in the bottom of this video as well. If you like something, click on it. Put my name in the promo code. You get a 20% discount. And if you want to donate to Kevin and Kevin's Corner, feel free. There's a link in the bottom of that video to do this. Do that as well. And um, find me on Facebook and the Twitter. All right. God bless. See you next time at Kevin's Corner.